In this video, we'll talk about working with presets in Flexi. We'll, we'll discuss what they are, how you make them, and why they're so useful. Presets are really wide format printing time savers. They help you set and repeat production manager settings, which saves you tons of time and labor. And they can be used for repeating a job or repeating a print on a particular kind of material. Let me show you how. All right, we're going to talk about a very interesting subject called presets in Flexi. And this is going to help you to repeat jobs, to set up Flexi so that you can output these jobs the same every time. And that's always a challenge in our shops. Let's say we want to print this particular job right here, right? So we do our saw proofing and so forth, and we get ready to send that out. So we go to our rip and print menu up here, and it starts it up, and you notice how it's turned right there. So we're gonna write that up like that. Change the sizes if we need to. Do all those things here in the in the uh, rip and print menu, and including choosing the, uh, the profile that we're going to be using and so forth. So if we're, if we're doing this and we're choosing all these numbers and so forth, you know, to change it, to set it up, you know, in the media that we're printing on, all that sort of thing. One of the things we can do is, and, and I'd recommend, is, is sending the job and putting it on a hold list. And here's the reason why, okay? Because we've, we've made all these changes, but we kind of get into a flow where we don't remember what changes we made. And, you know, the next time we want to print this, we can't remember how it was printed and so forth. So let's just say that we want to uh, you know, remember all that information. Well, there's actually in that rip and print menu, there's actually something here called a preset. You see it right here? But there's none in here right now. And that add button right by the way is to import those presets. So we don't have any made right now. So we're going to make one, okay? So again, the, the trick here is hold, put it in send mode, but put it on hold, okay? So we're going to hit send and then we're going to hit done. And then we're going to go to our production manager. Now in Production Manager, what we're going to do is we're actually going to select the, uh, uh, the actual uh, piece here. This is Production Manager now, and there's our, there's our copy that's coming in. And again, you'll see the preview up here. This is the new Flexi 12 Production Manager. Much easier to use and follow what's going on here, right? So here's a job that's coming in, and it's loading in Production Manager. There it is, okay? And by the way, below that image is all the settings that you just made. Okay, so you could write those down if you want to, but why do that? Instead, why not just double click on that particular job? All right, I want to double click on it. It's going to bring up this menu, which is actually like a rip and print. It's a job properties menu, right? So we could make some more changes here if we want. And then we go to that third tab where it says color management. Right. Make sure all that's set up the way we want it. Make sure we've got the right profiles, you know, all the normal things you would normally do for printing. But if we're going to do this job pretty often for this particular customer, maybe we're going to make posters over and over for them. Then maybe what we want to do is go right up at the top here where it says preset. See, there's none actually in here right now. So I'm going to save all the settings in this menu right here. All of the settings. I'm going to save those. And I'm going to say save the layout, which is the size and so forth, the color management adjustments, the, uh, the tiling, if that's in there, uh, labels, if those are in there. I'm just going to go ahead and click all of these and just say if there's any, any of these buttons up here at the top, these tabs, whatever settings are in there, save those as a preset. Now I'm going to click OK, and maybe this is modeling agency. I'll just call it model agency poster, okay? And I'll click OK. Now here's the advantage of that, okay? So we can print the job like normal, all right? We would just send it and we'd print the job. Now let's say we get back into Flexi and uh, another month goes by and we need to repeat this job now, right? So when we go to our rip and print menu right here, okay, and we click OK, and we go to that third tab, guess what? We're gonna have a preset available to us called model agency poster. So I can just click on that and it will automatically load up all the profiles, all the settings, all the labels, everything I did for the previous job, it's exactly the same. So this means that my chances of printing this exactly the same are very, very high. So that's one advantage. That's one way you can use it on a customer by customer basis. 
Now I'm going to go straight over to Production Manager because I've got another job in here, and I'm going to double click on that job. And uh, this is going to be a big banner poster. You know, see how big it is? It's going to be a big banner thing. So I'm going to go to my grommet location here and turn on my grommets. You know, and put in this. I'm going to make this bigger so you can see it. Put in the sizes and how many I want. Maybe I'm going to do a fold line and a bleed and mirror the bleed. You know, so we have a nice, beautiful image right here. And if we take a look at it. I'm just going to fit that to the media so it's nice and clean, right? This is a nice big image right here, right? Now, I don't know how many grommets I put in there, uh, all those settings and so forth, but I want to be able, again, to repeat this job again. In fact, let me make it smaller just for the sake of showing you, um, you know, the size of this thing. We'll take off the fit to media and I'll make it a little bit smaller so you can see the whole banner on here, right? Just want to make sure you can see the whole thing. There you go. Okay, so let's say this is our banner printing right here. Okay, now if I want to repeat this job again, right, I don't want to hold it in my queue because that takes up memory and so forth, right? So I'm going to click OK on this. That's my job. So I don't want to hold it right in here, right? So here's what I want to do. I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to add a preset. I'm going to save those settings just like I did before. I'm going to click OK. And maybe I'm just going to call this banner printing or printing to canvas or canvas settings or uh, vehicle wrap settings. You know, whatever the settings are, that's what I'm going to do just to keep those settings in here, right? So every time I print a banner, let's say I'm going to use this as an example. I'm going to print it this big with that many grommets on it and so forth. I click OK on that, right? So I don't need that job in the whole queue anymore, right? I don't need that job in the whole queue anymore. If I send a job over to Production Manager, any job there is, I'm going to bring this one back up, right? So here's my image. Double click on it, and you can see it's upside down. It's turned sideways and so forth, but I want to print that as a banner printing job. Look what it did. It automatically applied all those settings for me instantly, so I can just send the job. So this is another way to use it. You can set up... Uh, these presets for uh, individual uh, customers, or you can set it up maybe for kinds of jobs that you're doing. This is the power of Flexi 12. I hope you enjoy it. It's just that easy with Flexi. Why not drive your business with Flexi?